All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do a review on this book. Okay, Letting Go by David Hawkins. This is a masterpiece uh, work by him. It is a phenomenal book. I've read the book at least three times cover to cover, and it is excellent. And for anyone who is going through challenges and going through uh, psychological issues or uh, just, you know, world issues, you know, things that everybody goes through, uh, it's an excellent book. Um, also, health conditions, too. So, uh, about this book, basically, David Hawkins in the first part of the book talks about how he tried all these different things and went on retreats and and did uh, drugs and all these things and nothing quite affected him like his method of letting go and that's what the book is about is the process of surrendering uh, thoughts and surrendering uh, beliefs and surrendering convictions you have about things that aren't serving you well and so it, it's, it's such a, a simple kind of concept and a simple method that he uses but the results that he gets are phenomenal and so it is a really interesting to read and it's something that I found does have utility in different areas as far as uh, mental health it has utility in uh, just personal introspection and also really uh, it reduces stress because when a person's letting go they're not holding on to things that are stressing them and sometimes holding in place these paradigms that are contributing to the perpetual the perpetuation of the problem itself. So uh, this was my kind of entrance into David Hawkins. And from there, I read uh, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, which is another very interesting book. There are many people who criticize uh, David Hawkins' calibration system and his uh, map of consciousness and with good reason sometime um, but even with that said it's still very interesting to look at and it can help us uh, work our way through different barriers to living our best life and I think uh, if one uses it in the proper way it can be a great benefit so a lot of good things from David Hawkins. Um, uh, it, he's all about consciousness. He's all about uh, achieving higher levels and states of awareness. And if you don't know about David Hawkins, he was a PhD, MD. He was an MD first, a psychiatrist, and then later got his PhD in psychology. And he was... Uh, very interested in helping people. He was very interested in solving issues, not only psychologically, but he also contributed to orthomolecular psychiatry even before that. Um, if you go through a list of all his accomplishments, it's really phenomenal. Brilliant, brilliant genius. Um, and of course, everybody, you know, you're always going to have criticisms about anybody you meet. And, um, you know, some people criticize, you know, his map of consciousness and how, you know, it could put people into an ego state and this kind of thing. And that may that may be true in certain circumstances. So it's not an unfounded criticism. Um, but even with that said, there's still so much value to gain from David Hawkins and all his works. Uh, this book, there's something about it where you just read it and you just feel the uh, the load of mental 
things that you are holding on to just begin to let go. And he goes through and talks about how he had all these conditions that were physical conditions that when he started this mentally, he actually healed the condition. And so uh, quite, quite phenomenal, uh, the, the things that he goes over in this book. And he has a very, very scholarly uh, way of writing, which I appreciate. Um, it is, uh, it's a dive into psychology, and I'd say most of his work is like that. Um, also the spiritual realm. So uh, a lot of good things to say about David Hawkins. And I would definitely, uh, if you're looking at a, a, a potentially getting this book, uh, definitely check it out. Or if you've already read it, you know, I think a lot of good things about David Hawkins' books in general is that you can go back and look at them again later on and still get things from it and I went through a period where I read all of just about all of David Hawkins books I think there's maybe one or two that he's recently come out with that I don't have but the uh, or they've printed for him basically all right and just to give you an idea of what kind of chapters are in this book um, he starts off with the mechanism of letting go and then goes to the anatomy of emotions um, and then how to work through the different emotions themselves so apathy and depression grief fear desire anger pride courage is ex acceptance so basically moving yourself up into a, a place of acceptance love peace reducing stress and physical illness um, the relationship between mind and body the benefits of letting go transformation relationships achievement of vocational goals um, healing oneself um, questions and answers and then he also has the map of consciousness um, also in this book. Um, it's not a visual map. It's just he kind of goes over it. So um, quite actually it is a sorry. It is a visual map. It is a uh, not not a abstract map, but a um, he does have the map of consciousness in here. All right. So very interesting. And the um the thing about hawkins is that there's always something to gain but it's not always in that period of your life when you need it so if you pick up a book from his you may or may not resonate with it at that particular time and then i found myself um going back and then reading it again for a second time or a third time uh, when i needed it you know when i was in that period and that consciousness that I wanted that in my life. So that's another thing about Hawkins. Uh, if you, you read some of the stuff, uh, it may or may not make sense to you. I will say, I think this is more one of his beginning books. Some of the other work past that, I would, if you're new to Hawkins, maybe build up to that. Uh, but this is a great, this was my first book. Uh, another one, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, is pretty good. And... Um, it's really good, actually. And also, uh, Eye of the Eye, it's a little more advanced. And then there's one called I, which is, I think, even past then, maybe about the same as Eye of the Eye. And uh, all of those books are really good. He has one on uh, alcoholism, addiction, giving up uh, addictions, which can be good. Uh, for those going through that challenge, I um, I really like almost all of his books. I think, um, and really, I'd say all of them. I think all of them are good. I think uh, as far as my favorites, I would say I is really good. Uh, Transcending Levels of Consciousness is good. I would say the uh, Eye of the Eye is not bad. And um, I think there's a lot to gain for someone who's on the spiritual path. Maybe you're into Buddhism, maybe you're into meditation, maybe you're into psychology. A lot, a lot of good stuff uh, from David Hawkins in general. So that's, that's it for uh, this review on this book. I hope this brought a little bit of insight to the book. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. 
and uh, a lot of a lot of stuff in there that's that's just great to read. So, see you next time. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.